Warm greetings from the high 10. It is Everyday Shenanigans on this Saturday, April 18, 2020. Thanks for joining me, everybody. This set information is brought to you by Daily News. Okay, here we go. R. Kelly convinced he'll die of coronavirus in jail, lawyer says. He believes he can die. A distraught R. Kelly wants out of federal jail in Chicago where he fears he will die of coronavirus, the disgraced R&B star's lawyer told the Daily News Thursday. Kelly, 53, got emotional speaking with his legal team on the phone call. He is allowed one. He is allowed per week, saying he and other inmates at Chicago's Metropolitan Correctional Center are convinced they won't survive the outbreak of COVID-19 at the facility where six inmates and seven Bureau of Prison staffers have tested positive for the potentially deadly illness, according to his lawyers. He was extraordinarily emotional. I have never heard him that bad, said Stephen Greenberg, who represents the I Believe I Can Fly singer. He's fearful. He's despondent. He is convinced he's going to die in there as others of this disease. Kelly's lawyers reapplied Thursday for the former superstar to be released because of the ongoing pandemic. Their first application was rejected by a Brooklyn federal judge who said that Kelly was not designated by the CDC as being at high risk if caught the disease. Judge Ann Donnelly also said back in, on April 7th that Kelly was a flight risk and as well as a risk to obstruct, threaten, or intimidate prospective, prospective witnesses. But Kelly's lawyers argued the situation has deteriorated at the jail where there were no confirmed inmate cases when they first applied for his release. The jail under lockdown, lockdown excuse me, as are all federal facilities and inmates are not I'm sorry, are not able to practice social distancing, Greenberg said. There are likely already many more positive cases in light of the fact that, to date, the Chicago MCC has not even engaged in any systematic testing of its detainees unless and until they have exhibited symptoms of the virus despite the well-known close and crowded conditions at their facility, wrote Kelly's lawyers Michael Leonard in the application. If the Brooklyn judge wants... If the Brooklyn judge grants Kelly's second motion for release, he would still need to apply to another judge in Chicago because he is also charged in a separate federal case in Illinois. Kelly is a Chicago native charged with, in the Brooklyn federal court with racketeering for allegedly, allegedly running an enterprise in which women and girls were selected from his concert audiences and recruited as sexual partners for having sexual relations with three girls under 18 and with making child pornography and that is the said information by daily news so let's recap first of all kelly knew what he was doing out there in those streets which got him in there before corona quit playing you can't get out mr kelly because if like as they state they give you a bond you still are being held over on another federal case in chicago then you're also being held in the state of new york and you also have a case if i'm not mistaken out of detroit and minnesota so bonding out of one place would only lead to you being rearrested. And if they would be so kind to give you a bond at the next place, you will still be remanded to go to another place. So it won't even matter. You will be going from jail to jail to jail. And I didn't think you had any money, but maybe you do. I don't know if you hit it in the Bahamas, Jamaica, don't know, don't really care. The point is, you're in there and ain't no need in using Corona as an excuse. Now, I sympathize, empathize with anybody inside of a jail because naturally those are close quarters. But you always have to remember you got yourself in there. Nobody put you in jail. Whomever you are, you put yourself there. So you have to deal with the consequences of being in there. That's life. And that was life before COVID-19. Now, should they do testing? Of course. I recommend testing for everybody, whether you're in a group home, nursing facility, jail, prison, mental institute. The rules should apply to everybody. That's on a stack. No problem. But that's the said information coming out of Chicago. Mr. R. Kelly wants out of jail. But as they say, he is a flight risk. You'll only be rearrested. To the next court, to the next court, to the next court. And I don't think you have anybody that want to give up any money right now. Because that's the last lady who put up the bond last year. She wanted her money back because she didn't know that he had any more charges. Well, see, as I state, 
That's why he shouldn't have gave up the money in the first place. Because you knew damn well that man was guilty. But to each his own, people will ride or die for their friends and family. But then you see once he got rearrested, then it was a problem with, ooh, I want my bond money back. And as the judge told that lady, show me proof. And perhaps we can give you your money back. But you sign a piece of paper with the stipulations. Lord have mercy. I, I give up. That is the sad information coming out of Chicago. Uh, Robert Kelly feels like he will die in there alongside other inmates in the Chicago jail. And as you see, he's in the Chicago jail. He's not coming out of there. And as I state, that is a road he chose, such as others. So that's life, okay? That's the 411. God bless all of you. Stay safe out there. America, please, everyone, wash your hands and try to stay cool and calm till we can get through this madness that is going on and pray that this epidemic does not reignite itself, come back after it's died down or another virus pops up because I'm praying that that does not happen. I'm praying that our government will now see that there is a potential for a pandemic and they will take the necessary steps for the next time since America was slow to react in this pandemic, that this is a learning curve and now they know what to do the next time. So there should never be a misunderstanding next time for testing, medical supplies, ventilators, shutting down stores, businesses, administering tests to all citizens in the country and getting a hold of the virus before it starts wreaking havoc. Amen. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Thank you so much. God bless you. Stay safe. Like, share, subscribe. Drop your comments below. Please let me know what you think of this said article and information. God bless you all. Stay safe. Wash your hands. And this is Everyday Shenanigans. Bye-bye.